Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is titled Rude Mom Refuses to Leave No Parking Zone So Builders Get Even. Let's get into this. All he wanted was to finish his job and go home, but this rude woman wouldn't move her car. She kept yelling at him and calling him names. What did I do to deserve this, he thought to himself. Initially, the construction manager wanted to call the police and let them deal with the situation. But then, he thought of a different way to teach her a lesson. He was a construction manager for a new building being built, and he wasn't in the mood to argue with anyone. He had a lot of work to do, and this woman was driving him crazy. He was working on a difficult project that required walking 250 feet up a steep incline a few times a day. Fortunately, the construction team had two parking spaces reserved for the project to bring the materials to the top of the hill. But not everyone understood that those parking spaces weren't public. The construction team made sure to put two official no parking signs next to the parking spaces. But this didn't stop some people from illegally using them. There was an elementary school nearby, and parents would sometimes use those parking spaces. It didn't bother him too much when people used those parking spaces as long as it wasn't for a long period. Before we continue, if you like this video please like, comment, or subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Now back to the video. Sometimes he would simply ask them to move their car, and people didn't hesitate to do so. But what happened on that day was beyond his imagination. He was expecting a lumber delivery that day, so it was very important for him that those two parking spaces were available. When he went to check the parking spots, he saw a car parked in one of the spaces. He approached the car and politely asked the woman to move because he was expecting a lumber delivery. I'll just be a few minutes and your truck isn't here. Take a chill pill, dude, she replied. Then, a few seconds later, the delivery truck arrived. He thought that the woman would move when she saw the truck, but she simply didn't care. He waved at her to get her attention. What do you want? She shouted at him. He explained to her again that she needed to move. Her response left him at a loss for words. Can't you guys just unload around me? Jesus, it's not that hard, she yelled. Her attitude shocked him. So, he went to the truck driver and told him something that made them both smile. They were going to teach her a lesson. The truck driver parked parallel to her car. She couldn't move backward because there was a porta potty behind her and in front of her were other legally parked cars. She was stuck and no one was willing to help her. Then, the construction manager did one last thing. He grabbed his phone and called the police on her. At this point in time, I wasn't trying to get her in trouble, I just wanted a record of why we were blocking part of the street so we don't get in trouble with the city, he said. But then, the woman's child arrived and the situation got even tenser. The woman tried to get out of her vehicle, but she was trapped inside. Eventually, she managed to get out from the other side and put her child into the car. That's when she approached the construction manager and the truck driver and said, I'm in a big hurry. You need to move your truck right now, so I can go. But the two men had another surprise in store for her. Ma'am, in order to unload the lumber on the truck, we had to unstrap it, and per our company policy, I'm not allowed to move the truck with an unsecured load on it, the truck driver explained to her. She was furious and started yelling at them. I have somewhere to be. That's when the police arrived. Can't you just pull out around it? It's not that hard, the construction manager asked the woman. Furious, the woman got into her car, hit the gas pedal, and knocked over the portable toilet in an attempt to escape. The three men couldn't stop laughing at what they were seeing. Her attempt to escape ended in a disaster when her car got stuck on the curb. As soon as she got out of the vehicle, the officer cuffed her and made her sit on the curb as he called the towing service. She was charged with destruction of property, reckless driving, and driving with a suspended license. But I think next time she'll probably think twice about parking in a tow-away zone if she ever gets a license again, the construction manager said. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.